Uh, good afternoon, Karen. Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to the St. Barnabas Greek Orthodox Church in North London. Um, today is quite an important day for our community. Um, we're here ha having invited quite a few Greek Cypriots from the community to discuss St. Andrew the Apostles Greek Orthodox Church uh, School that should be operating in September 2013. Great. Um, I'd like you to tell me a little bit about the, your, your trust, the RET, and who you are and how you were established okay. before we start getting into the nitty gritty about uh, our Greek school. Okay, that's great. Um, I'm the chief executive of the Russell Education Trust. That's an academy sponsor approved by the government. Um, our trust started by being sponsored by a private company that specialised in um, school improvement, um, was well known particularly in London. Um, we do curriculum development, we specialise in good and outstanding schools and we went to the government and said we wanted to sponsor new schools, which we did, and we then went on to sponsor the largest of the new free schools last year right. in September 2011. And we're very excited because we're also opening a brand new Anglican school in Brentwood in Essex in September 2012. And we have two more planned <laughs> for September 2013. One is St. Andrew the Apostle, Greek Orthodox School, and the other is the King's Anglican School in Brighton. That's excellent. I mean, that's, um, I think, very important for our community to know that uh, such an organisation as yours, um, with professional setup, is, is being involved in the setting up of our school. Um, now, how did everything start and how were you approached by the school? Just tell us a little bit about the okay. history behind it. Okay. Um, originally, when we started operating as a, a supporter for free schools, uh, members of the Greek Orthodox community um, came to us originally. Um, Yanis Piraeus, your, your chairman, uh, approached me personally because he knew about the work that we were doing with Bristol Free School and he also knew about the work we were doing with Beckett Keys. Right. And he came to talk to us, we spent a long time talking. He talked with me and with our senior management team and we thought the idea was just immensely exciting. Um, I'm personally a Roman Catholic and um, other directors are Roman Catholics in the Russell Education Trust so we were obviously very personally committed to the, as the church is to the idea of a new Greek Orthodox um, secondary school and I was quite ignorant and surprised that there was no Greek Orthodox secondary school and I find that quite shocking and so we intend to work with you to put that right. That's excellent and we welcome you on board. Um, now the, the school, mm -hmm. let's um, talk about uh, what are the aims of, this, of the Greek Saint Apostle, uh, Saint Andrew's Apostle Greek Orthodox School. What are the aims and the objectives of it? Okay, our vision is for um, a school based on the moral principles and the Christian teaching of the church. And like other good church schools, like Anglican schools, like um, good Catholic schools, they're good because they have the right moral principles, because behaviour and discipline is good, there's good respect between adults and children. But they also have very high standards. And the most important thing for us is that this is a school for your community with very high academic standards in which every child does the very best that, that, that he can in school. And every child learns respect for his elders and the things you would expect to, of your children. I think that's excellent because um, uh, our community is quite outstanding when it comes to academia. Yeah, and we all absolutely. strive uh, to be able to give our children the very best. Yep. Um, now, the, the, the school has a committee as well. Yes. And could you tell me a little bit about the committee and who basically um, uh, is, apart from the chair, but yeah. who is all, also behind it? Okay. Um, other members of um, your community, that I think the strength that we've got here is because this is really a joint committee between the Russell Education Trust and the Classical Education Trust. So you've got people like yourself, um, within the Greek community. You have other professionals who are, um, we have Mary Carolis, who is a, a well-known um, Greek head teacher and was the head of an outstanding school in London. We have um, two solicitors who are partners in London law firms. Um, we have people who are governors on other local schools. And then we have key advisors from the Russell Education Trust 
got people who specialise um, in languages because that's going to be important for you. We intend to be teaching modern Greek, um, ancient Greek, classical civilization uh, to GCSE and to A-level. Um, but for us, we have a very strong track record in English math science, and so all of our inspectors are also supporting the school, our lead inspectors in English, maths, three separate sciences. And so there's a great combination there of understanding of the community, and in a way, what's also great for us is the backing we've had from the Archbishop personally. I was going to say that. Uh, yeah, the Archbishop. fantastic. How, how do you find that support? To Marvellous. Yeah. Really, we're quite humbled by it, really. He's been personally very, very kind to me and to our group um, and took time to really carefully understand how the Russell Education Trust worked, why we were supporting the church and the school. Um, he's been very supportive. He's been praying for the school and assuring us of his prayers. Um, and that combination of your community, the spiritual element, and our commitment to very high standards. We want a, new, a big new secondary school with high standards for this part of North London. Uh, I think that's excellent. Now, I want to focus now on the actual uh, ability for us to achieve yep. opening this school, which yep. is very important. Yep. And um, at a recent meeting that we had, uh, there was, we basically identified first yes. a potential site yes. for the school. Yep. Could you just uh, elaborate on that and mm -hmm. um, how close that is within our community? Um, we've identified uh, Middlesex University are attempting to dispose of the Trent Park site, which is um, the Trent Park University site, which is perfect in terms of location, um, great for our community, tube links, bus links, and could is particularly helpful for children in Barnet, Hertfordshire and Enfield. Yes. Um, that site is coming up for sale. We've made the government aware of um, the fact that we as a group want to obtain that site for the new St Andrews School. Um, they're very much aware of that. They've asked us to keep in touch with them about the negotiations. And we've already said, if we're successful in February with our proposal, which we very much expect to be, um, then quickly we will be going into negotiations with the university. Um, it's, on the, it's on the open market but we know that we have some advantages. We believe that from the planning authorities' um, history, it's very keen for another educational establishment to be on that site, rather than obviously housing. Or, um, it, and we wouldn't want to do anything that stops that being um, a resource for the local community. There's fantastic playing fields, areas for running, all sorts of facilities, which we would want to, obviously not to interfere with. So we want to make sure that it's preserved for the broader community, but that the buildings can be converted. And they can be converted pretty easily because so many specialist facilities were already there yeah, right. because of the university. That's so we think it's great value for money and an exciting part of the government's approach to the big society, really, that uh, university is moving on, and yet that money's already been invested and could be used for a new school. So we're, we're excited about that idea. Yeah, I think that's very, very important for the community because if we think about uh, parents deciding to place their 11-year-old children into a new school, mm -hmm. they'd want to see a school that is really going to have all the facilities yeah. and not only coming to the facilities but also the academic staff. We'll talk about that a little bit yes. more later. What I want to focus on now is what do we have to obtain from our community in support of the application? Yeah. What do we need from them? in order for us to really, okay. really succeed? I think the more openly you can support this school, the better. I think that if you think about it from the government's point of view, the free schools that they've supported, like ours in Bristol, um, the one in Brentwood and Essex, that, that's because parents really made themselves heard. Um, they registered on our website, and whatever age their children, they, they registered on their website, but particularly primary age children, and so that we had hundreds, and obviously we won't be able to take all of them. But if people register their interest, then we, when we go to the government and say, this is our proposal, and hundreds of people want their children to go to St Andrews, they agree with our vision, they understand it. So we'd be saying to people, first of all, watch the newspaper, but watch our website, watch the St Andrew the Apostle website, which is www.standrewtheapostle.org.uk and go onto our website or Google St Andrew the Apostle 
and actually register your interest, register where you live, what the age of your children is, and that's a completely protected website, completely safe website. Your data is completely safe with us, and the only thing we'll use it for is in our counting. We'll never use your child's name or your family name, but that's really helpful. Attend meetings when they're called, or just get in touch with us on the website and say that you'd like to be a rep maybe at your local primary school so that you can talk to other mums and dads about coming to the school and then if the government announce that it's successful which we very much hope they will do uh, this may then come to our meetings think about joining our parent committees think about joining your church's committee in support of the school because we really want this to be based within our community and we want to understand the views of parents and churches well thank you on that but uh, what i want to really now also mention um, to the viewers is that we need numbers and we need numbers in certain age groups. Yes, and I want you to tell us exactly percentages, numbers that we have to achieve and hit through the Greek Orthodox community and the wider faith community. Well, I don't think it matters how it's divided up, but certainly if you want this school and your child is in year five or year four or year three, you need to register because that helps us to say to the government, this is how much money we need, this is how many places we need. And if we know, if we have real evidence of demand being high, then we can talk to the government about the numbers that we need and how many places we need. And that's the most important. Well, I'm, I just want to add to that. To, from the information that we have, we need to be able to prove, in particular, two age groups, the year four and five, yes. that we need at least 150 interested, registered yeah. children is that correct? Yes, uh, and we've got that, but to go to the government, it'd be great to say we've do got more than double that number, and that's what you need. You need real strength in numbers, and that's what we're looking for. We're already approaching our full number, yes. but we really need to be saying there's hundreds more, register, and it may be that we need to ask the government for it to be bigger than we'd originally anticipated, but parents need to tell us now, not say afterwards, I'm really sorry I didn't get my child in. Yeah. Well, we need to obviously mention that uh, currently, we're looking at the school to start from ages 11 to 18. We are. Yes. Uh, there's no reason why we can't go backwards, but that will be... 11 to 18. Uh, yeah. the, the target for September yeah. 2013 is 11 to 18. Um, can parents register whatever age their kids yes, are? Yes, they can. They certainly can. Even if they're younger? Um, so we can show to the... Absolutely. To the government that yes. really we have kids from primary age? Absolutely. You, could, you should register at any age if you're going to want to place it sometime in the future. And we're also particularly interested in students who will be going into sixth form, um, because if demand is high enough, we will open sixth form at the same time as year seven. Well, I think that's a very exciting. Um, fine. Uh, is there anything we could just uh, summarize uh, and be very specific on before we close uh, the interview? What would, be, what would be your message to, your final message to our community? I think my message would be, you deserve this school. You've waited too long for it register, give us help when we ask for it, uh, register on our site, uh, and pray for acceptance by the government. Thank you, Karen. Um, finally, to all the viewers, this is an important development for our community. We want this school, and we have to get it. We want your full support. Please go to our website, www.standrewtheapostle.org.uk. And any further information that you may need, you can contact us through the website, through Hellenic TV. And um, please, 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 if you have our parents in Greek schools, in our community, pass the word around. Thank you very much, Karen. Thank you very much. And thank you to Hellenic TV. Thank you. Κύριε Θεόδωρε, τον επόμενο χρόνο, το 2013 και το Σεπτέμβριο, προγραμματίζεται ένα καινούργιο ένα καινούργιο ελληνικό σχολείο. Για πέστε μα μερικά λόγια για αυτήν την καινούργια ιδέα που θα έχουμε στην παρκία μα. Μάλιστα, το ελληνικό σχολείο θα ονομάζεται το Σχολείο του Αποστόλου Ανδρέα, ελληνικό ορθόδοξο σχολείο, και θα είναι στο Βόρειο Λονδίνο. Προσπαθούμε να στεγάσουμε εμεί το παλιό το Πανεπιστήμιο του Μίλσεξ, που είναι εκεί στο Trent Park, που είναι κοντά στο σταθμό του Oakwood. Η περιοχή εκεί έχουμε περίπου 120 με 140 χιλιάδες Ελληνοκύπριους και πιστεύουμε πως ο χώρος εκεί θα είναι ένα σχολείο έτοιμο για, για, να, για να μπορέσουμε να στείλουμε τα παιδιά μας το 2013. Αρχικά, ποιοι σκεφτήκαν αυτή την ιδέα και ποιος ο δικός σας ρόλος σε αυτή την 
σε αυτό το σχολείο. Ο πρόεδρο του σχολείου, που είναι ο κύριο Γιάννη Παρέα, είχε αυτή την ιδέα όταν είχε μιλήσει με τον Αρχιεπίσκοπο Γρηγόριον και ε, μαζί είχαν οργανώσει μια ομάδα από, από Ελληνοκύπριου και ε, με καλέσαν και εμένα για να μπορέσω να παραβεθώ να βοηθήσω εγώ το ελληνικό σχολείο. Όπω αρκετοί γνωρίζουμε στην παρικία, ε, είμαι εκπαιδευτικό σύμβουλο. Εγώ ε, βασικά η ειδικότητα μου είναι στα πανεπιστήμια και γι' αυτό είμαι, είναι σημαντικό για ένα σχολείο που θέλουμε να στεγάσουμε να έχουμε τη συνέχιση των φοιτητών στα καλύτερα πανεπιστήμια της Αγγλίας. Και εδώ θα είναι ο ρόλος μου εμένα να βοηθήσω. Άρα ποια θα είναι τα πλεονεκτήματα που θα μπορούν να έχουν οι μαθητές αλλά και οι γονείς και γενικά η παρικία μας με το καινούργιο αυτό σχολείο. Ε, το πιο σημαντικό είναι ε, το σχολείο θα έχει πολύ ψηλά επίπεδα διδασκαλίας. Και αυτό είναι ένας από τους όρους για να λειτουργήσει αυτό το σχολείο. Μαζί μας έχουμε και μια οργάνωση, είναι ένας αγγλικός οίκος, το, ε, το RET, το Russell Education Trust, και αυτοί είναι επαγγελματίες και ο σκοπός τους είναι να ανοίγουν και να στεγάζουν αγγλικά σχολεία σε ολόκληρη εδώ την Αγγλία. Έχουν ήδη οργανώσει δύο σχολεία και το έχουν αρχίσει από το μηδέ. Και αυτό είναι ο στόχο και για το δικό μα. Έχουμε επαγγελματίε που θα μα βοηθήσουν να οργανώσουμε αυτό το σχολείο. Όταν λέμε θα ανοίξει ένα ελληνικό σχολείο, η γλώσσα διδασκαλία θα είναι τα αγγλικά ή τα ελληνικά, σαν πρώτη γλώσσα. Μπράβο. Είμαστε εδώ στην Μεγάλη Βρετανία. Ε, αυτό το σχολείο ε, θα, είναι, θα διδάσκεται με την ύλη που διδάσκονται σε όλα τα άλλα τα αγγλικά σχολεία. Όμω εμεί θα προσθέσουμε και αρχαία ελληνικά. Κλασική ελληνική ιστορία και λατινικά για να μπορέσουμε και εμεί να δώσουμε στα παιδιά μα τη παρικία που θα έρθουν στο σχολείο επιπλέον ε, μαθήματα εκτό από τα μαθήματα που θα παίρνουν σε ένα σχολείο ε, εδώ που στεγάζεται ήδη ο φοιτητή. Εμεί θέλουμε τα, οι μαθητέ να έρθουν κοντά μα και να μάθουν και την ελληνική κουλτούρα, τη γλώσσα και τη θρησκεία μας, να κρίσουμε και τη θρησκεία μας. Όμως, ένα πολύ σημαντικό θέμα εδώ είναι το σχολείο ε, βασικά θα έχει τη χορήγηση από την κυβέρνηση και για τη στέγαση και για τη λειτουργία. Και γι' αυτό εμείς πρέπει ε, να δουλέψουμε πολύ σκληρά στην παρικία για να ξεκινήσουμε αυτό το σχολείο. Και διότι είναι το πρώτο ελληνικό ορθόδοξο σχολείο στην παρικία μας εδώ στο Βόρειο Λονδίνο που θα είναι με αυτούς τους κανόνες. Και ποιε ηλικίε θα φιλοξενεί το σχολείο αυτό για του μαθητέ. Αρχικά θα αρχίσουμε από ηλικίε 11 με 18, όμω ε, η πρώτη τάξη θα είναι από 11 ετών. Και μετά κάθε χρόνο θα προσθέτουμε επόμενε τάξει. Αυτοί είναι οι όροι που αρχίζουν ένα σχολείο σε τέτοιον επίπεδο. Μέχρι στιγμή και περίπου ένα χρόνο και κάτι πριν την πιθανή λειτουργία του σχολείου, ποιε δυσκολίε έχετε να αντιμετωπίσετε μέχρι στιγμή. Ε, οι δυσκολίες δεν έχουν υπάρχει μέχρι τώρα, όμως είναι να γνωρίζουμε τι είναι η στρατηγική και το πλάνο για να μπορέσουμε να εφαρμόσουμε αυτό το σχολείο. Και είμαστε τώρα σε ένα στάδιο που θέλουμε τώρα να έχουμε μόνο την υποστήριξη των γονέων και τα παιδιά για να στηρίξουμε τον αριθμό των φοιτητών που χρειαζόμαστε τώρα και να μπορέσουμε να, να στείλουμε την αίτηση προς την κυβέρνηση και να εγκριθεί. Και αυτός ο στόχος είναι, πρέπει να έχουμε στην, στι, στις δύο χρονιές, την τέταρτη και πέμπτη χρονιά των φοιτητών που ήδη τώρα είναι σε σχολεία, είναι, μιλούμε ηλικία 8 και 9 ετών, να μπορέσουν να βάλουν τα νόματα τους κάτω οι γονείς για να υποστηρίξουν την αίτηση αυτή και να ανοίξουμε αυτό το σχολείο. Και γι' αυτό και σήμερα εδώ, στον Απόστολο Βανάβαν, θα κάνουμε μια συνάντηση με, με γονεί για να μιλήσουμε και να του εξηγήσουμε ακριβώ του στόχου μα και να μπορέσουμε να πάρουμε τι αιτήσει για να πετύχουμε εμεί την άνοιξη του σχολείου. Κύριε Θεδωρή, πριν κλείσουμε και πριν μα πείτε περισσότερα για το πώ οι γονεί θα μπορούν να μάθουν περισσότερα για το σχολείο μέσω του email για register και τέλο πάντων, mm. τι είναι αυτό που θα ξεχωρίζει από τα άλλα υπόλοιπα παρκεία ελληνικά σχολεία παρκεία. Ε, αυτό θα υποστηρίζει 
τα παρικιακά ελληνικά σχολεία. Δεν λέμε οι μαθητέ που θα έρθουν, έρθουν εδώ στο σχολείο αυτό που θα ανοίξουμε σημαίνει πω δεν θα πηγαίνουν και στα ελληνικά σχολεία το Σαββάτο ή τα βράδια. Όχι. Αυτό θα υποστηρίξει. Και πιστεύω να είναι το πρώτο σχολείο από πάρα πολλά που θα ανοίξουμε εδώ στην παρικία μα. Και όμω αυτό πρέπει να πετύχει. Πρέπει να πετύχει για όλου μα. Διότι όπω και εγώ που έχω και έξι παιδιά και δυστυχώ τα παιδιά μου έχουν μεγαλώσει. Αυτό ήταν και ένα όνειρο που είχα εγώ πριν 5-10 χρόνια. Είμαστε εδώ σήμερα και πρέπει να βάλουμε όλοι μα τα δυνατά μα να πετύχουμε αυτή, αυτόν τον στόχο. Και τέλο, πώ θα μπορούν να μάθουν περισσότερα για το σχολείο. Α, το σχολείο πρέπει να πάνε στο website του σχολείου και είναι το www. Είναι St. Andrew, St. Andrew, the Apostle.org.uk. Ε, ε, όταν θέλετε και περισσότερες πληροφορίες, να πάρετε και το Helen TV που θα έχετε και εσείς όλα τα στοιχεία μας. Ε, ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ. Ευχαριστώ πολύ και να πούμε καλή επιτυχία. Ε, βεβαίως και ε, ελπίζουμε το 2013 να είμαστε όλοι εκεί για να ανοίξουμε το σχολείο.